Hey crocheters, thank you so much for all of the well wishes that I received last week when I wasn't feeling the greatest. It's kind of funny because I, I was kind of having muscle pain then and then, you know, after a good week a weekend of resting, I felt a lot better and now I have a cold. <laughs> Which, you know, when you have a two-year-old, that just happens, I think, more frequently than maybe happens for other people. So, I've got a cold, but it's not the end of the world. Anyway, I have been just astounded by your guys' overwhelming response to the Flamingo Pattern Getaway. I'm really excited to announce the three winners, so stay tuned. Alrighty. So hopping straight into the vlog, what did I get done this week? A couple of things. Um, the most exciting, I would say, is I made a pig lovey. And I set it over here, so I'm gonna grab it really quick. But I think it turned out really cute. Only problem being, absentmindedly, I put the blanket on upside down. So, whoops. <laughs> so this is the pig. This is how it looks with the blanket and you can see I put the wrong side up on this. So yeah, it would have looked better if I'd gotten the right side, but I didn't. So I got the pig lovey and then this is what the, these two look like together. Aren't they so cute? Little pig, uh, they're just, I'm in love with them. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how these two turned out. Um, one thought I did have on the lovey, actually it was a thought that someone else gave me, um, a lady messaged me in Instagram and, and asked if I had any ideas on like how to maybe make the blanket remove, removable since they're going to mostly be made for little kids. Um, and they get their blankets dirty and make sense to be able to remove that and throw it in the wash. I thought, well, that's brilliant. No, I've got no ideas on how to do that. Um, but now, especially that I have, you know, put the blanket on the wrong way, I want to think of a way <laughs> to be able to do that. Um, the only idea I've had so far is if you did like a button on the bottom, like I did with my very first lovey, but then you'd have to have a pretty big hole in the fleece. And I feel like you would have to um, like support the hole in the fleece so that it didn't tear bigger and bigger. Um, which is kind of the whole reason why I do fleece instead of other things, because it, it doesn't really fray. It does tear a little bit. Um, if you kind of overwork it, I don't know. I'm starting to ramble. If you guys have any ideas on how to be able to make a, a lovey blanket removable, I would love to hear them because I think that would improve the product a little bit and it would just make everything better. But anyway, I'm really happy with it. Super happy with how it turned out. Um, you guys were all super excited last week um, about the deer and I don't have that much progress to show. I mostly worked on the, the pig lovey. So, so this is all I've gotten done so far is I just got the, the eyes and the nose sewn on. Um, I'm hoping that I will be able to work on it more this weekend, but we'll see. Um, we're supposed to go camping with some friends, so that might cut into my crochet time. But uh, I am pretty happy with how it's looking so far. I feel like shaping the head just really, really brings it to life. Um, and so now that the head is shaped, I'm really enjoying it. Um, the other thing I worked on, and this is, this is pretty rough at the moment. Um, my, one of my nieces requested a blue and pink hippo. And so I decided to go with a blue hippo with a pink sweater. And so this is what I've got so far. I have not started stuffing it at all. Um, and I think because I haven't started stuffing it and like started filling it out, I guess width wise instead of lengthwise, to me it kind of looks more like an alligator at the moment. Um, I know 
like because I'm the one who made it. I know that there's enough, I think, rows in here to like really start kind of when it when it is stuffed to to make it nice and fluffy in the the snout and the head and the body. But where it's unstuffed, it just it looks like an alligator. Um, but that's not what it's supposed to be. I, th I think it's going to work. Um, clearly, this is my first time doing this one. Rough draft. Who knows? Um, but I'm feeling fairly positive about it. Dun, 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 dun. And so the very last order of business is to... Um, announce who the winners were for the Flamingo Pattern Giveaway. So drum roll. And I did a random number generator for this and then went through and counted, which was a little bit ridiculous, but I, I, I did it randomly so I wouldn't be biased. So those who won, once again, thank you guys all for commenting, participating. You guys are the greatest. So the very first winner is Sherry Lobato. And I'm gonna write these names probably like right here, um, just in case I mispronounce them really terribly. Um, yeah, so those will be right there. Then the second one is Julie Nicholson. And the third is Judy Mills. So congratulations, ladies. Thank you so much for participating. Thank you everyone for your comments. Um, and for the rest of you, the rest of everyone, uh, I guess also including those ladies, um, I got the Chubby Bunny PDF pattern done. I was able to get that feedback from testers and to actually incorporate it. That took me a minute. Um, but it's done and it is a free PDF on my website. So you guys can go and get that as well. Um, so really everybody wins, right? So for those who did win, um, email me, I'll have it down in the description, Valerie at oldsoulcrochetcompany.com and I will send you that pattern. Hey, it's me again. So I forgot a couple of things yesterday when I recorded my vlog and I can also show you something new cause I worked on it yesterday. So number one, I was watching uh, Le Petite Saint Crochet. Um, her name is Elise and um, she has this adorable little like pig, not little, it's pretty big. It's like a, a wall hanging with a pig on it and she had named it Penelope. And so when I heard that, I was like, oh my gosh, Penelope is the perfect, perfect name for a pig. Um, and so in talking back and forth with her about that, uh, she said that I, she would be totally fine if I named my pig pattern the Penelope pig. So these two, these two are going to be the Penelope pig and Penelope pig lovey. So here they are. Oh, I love them. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> um, so that was number one. And then number two is it's actually promising to be pretty bad weather here. So we didn't go camping last night to today. Um, and so I was able to work on that hippo that I showed you guys. So what happened, we went to our friend's house um, to play D&D &D and you know, I bring my crocheting with me. And like a goofball, I did not bring enough stuffing. And that's really what I needed to do is I needed to stuff and finish the hippo um, but I, I brought enough to stuff the head. <laughs> so yeah, there's nothing in the body cavity yet, but I was able to get the head stuffed. So, you know, so it does look like a hippo now. It's, it's got that roundness to the snout and the head. And I was able to make the eyes and put those on and uh, get the little ears. So I'm not doing fleece on this one. Um, so I'm just playing around with kind of those different different colors, the pink and the blue, to give my niece a truly pink and blue hippo. Um, so that's that's where this is. Um, I think it's coming along pretty well. I'm, I'm excited to see how this one finishes out. I still might be tearing out these last couple rows because I'm really just not sure how, the, they're, how they're shaping up. 
um, but we'll see. There'll definitely be some more progress on this one next week. And I'm curious, just, just throwing this out there. This is the first animal I've tried to like make clothes on. Um, I think it's kind of cute. It's, I personally prefer working with fleece for kind of that um, fabric look rather than making like sweaters or clothes on animals. But it's cuter than I thought it would be. And so I'm just curious to see what you guys have to say. Do you guys like, you know, maybe making a sweater or a, a, a shirt or, you know, pants or something cute on animals? Or do you just want something traditional? Because um, I was thinking, you know, if I make this hippo again, I'll probably just do it one solid color and I'll try and work fleece in. The ears are so small, I'm not sure if I could work fleece into that, but um, I don't know, that, that's just kind of where my mind is on this project. So I'd love to know what you guys think on that. Um, so that's going to be it for me now, officially, this week. Um, there will be more progress to show on the pig. Um, I'm planning to get it sent out to testers today, actually, um, at least to say, this is available if you want to test, let me know, and then I'll, I'll uh, randomly select who gets to test on Monday. So we'll kind of have the weekend to have people respond to that. So anyway, things are moving forward, going well. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what this next week brings. I will talk to you soon, bye.